Swedish auto giant Volvo is unveiling a new range of energy efficient trucks in a bid to reduce its carbon footprint and says the future is more than electric. The introduction of the heavy duty models across global markets is part of a plan to make Volvo's range of vehicles net zero by 2040. The EU's Environment Agency has previously said that trucks, buses and coaches are responsible for about a quarter of the bloc's CO2 emissions. Well, let's talk to Roger Alm. From, he's the CEO of Volvo Trucks and he's in Gothenburg. Thanks for coming on the show. Um, why are you doing this now? What's it really going to mean for the business and what signals does it send to your sector? Uh, it's very good and we, we are today launching our biggest launch ever at Volvo Trucks. We are introducing a completely new product range, both for the North American market and also then for the European market, Asia and then Australia. We are now reducing here with a lot of em emissions and then bringing down the CO2 level. The fuel consumption that we are taking out in reduction in North America is up to 10 percent. What we are taking out for the Europe, Asia and an Asian product range is up to 5 percent out of an already a big reduction in mm. terms of fuel consumption. We are also then extending our product range of electrical trucks from eight units, from six units in serial production to eight units in serial production. And by that we're making a significant impact by then reducing then the carbon emissions. And this is part of your battery electric phase on the road to net zero. But for that you need it, it, charging infrastructure everywhere you operate it. So what yeah. needs to happen and where? You know, there is not a silver bullet solution for all then the transport sectors and we need to then have efficient carbon reduction in all kind of market and all kind of trucks. Mm. So therefore we are making application for all kind of then segments, all kind of markets and also then all kind of customers. But one area that we are then focused on a lot is then battery electrical trucks and we are driving out that segment. We have then a leading position in Europe with 50 percent market share. We have a strong position in North America as well and we have delivered battery electrical trucks to 45 countries around the world. But of course to have the big growth into then the battery electrical trucks we need charging and we need to then expand in the charging infrastructure. But it also needs to have electrical capacity as well to drive these electrical trucks. So let's talk about fuels of the future because the big change is going to be green hydrogen. So what's the time frame for that or is it still too expensive for heavy duty fleets? But, but, but what I said before, there is not a silver bullet solution for the different technologies than to move them to set uh, net zero emissions in 2040. So we're having then different solutions. We said that we have battery electric, we have fuel cells, and we have then the current uh, combustion engine run on renewable fuels. When we're looking at fuel cells, then we think that we will come out with products here in serial production in the end of this decade. And that is what we are working towards and investing for as well. Roger Elm, CEO of Volvo Trucks, thank you very much. Thank you.